Hawaii, now is the time to make your voice heard. Ballots should have come in the mail already, and you don't want to miss the voting deadline. Now, joining us with all the voting info that you need to know is Chief Election Officer Scott Nago. Aloha. Hello, thank you for having me. Of course, so happy to have you. It's always a good reminder, especially as we're coming up on election season, because we want to make sure our votes get in and get counted. So I was just telling you, my ballot came in the mail. I got it just yesterday. So for those who haven't gotten theirs just yet, what should someone do if they haven't gotten theirs? So if you haven't received your ballot yet, um, you, you can do two things. You can, you can call your county clerk's office to find out where your ballot is, or you can go online to see if you're properly registered because ballots are not forwardable through the mail. So if you're not properly registered, you won't get your ballot. Okay, perfect. Now, voting by the mail, I think some people are still, you know, not quite used to it and want to make sure that their vote is counted. So mm -hmm. if you are voting by mail, is there a way to make sure that your ballot was actually received? Yeah, so you can go to our website, elections.hawaii.gov, to sign up for ballot tracking alerts. Um, you can get it either via voicemail, email, or text alerts. It'll tell you when your ballot has been received process and accepted for counting. Okay, perfect. And then do you have any reminders for those that are voting and returning their ballot? What are some tips that you have for us for this year's election? Yes, yeah, so if you make a mistake, uh, do not use whiteout or cross out your, um, your mistake. Uh, call your clerk's office to get a replacement ballot. Uh, make sure you sign your return envelope. Uh, envelopes without a signature will not be counted and ballots must be received by 7 p.m. on election day, not postmarked. 7 p.m. on election day. Okay, so speaking of, and of course you don't want a, your ballot to not count, so what are all of the deadlines, the dates, and the times that we need to know? So the most important one is ballots must be received by 7 p.m. on election day. Uh, starting this Tuesday, uh, if you want to vote in person, you can go to a voter service center to vote in person. Or if you're not registered, you can register and vote in person at the same time. Uh, for a list of those locations, you can go to our, our website, elections.hawaii.gov. Okay, so again, a lot of the ballots are already in folks' mailbox, but if they haven't yet registered, if someone out there hasn't registered just yet, they can still vote in the general election. Yes, you can uh, register to vote um, by mail, or you can, like I said, you can go in person to a voter service center and register there. You can and register vote. by mail. Yes, you can. Uh, well, you can you can fill out an application and send it in, or you, you can go to our website elections.hawaii.gov. Okay, perfect. And then on that website, what what exactly is the process for registering? How how does that look? Because I think a lot of people they're like, oh, registering that might might take a lot of time. But what does that process look like? It, it's really simple. If you have a Hawaii State uh, driver's license or a Hawaii State ID, uh, you just go online. You you enter in your information. You you enter in. Um, your information, you attest to certain things. It's a really quick process. It, it should take no more than five minutes. Okay, perfect. And, and in terms of voting in general, do you have any tips for folks out there? Like I said, make sure you review your ballot before voting. If you make a mistake, uh, do not use white out or cross it out. Call for a replacement ballot. Uh, make sure you sign your return envelope because if there's no signature, it won't be counted. Oh, okay. And uh, make sure your ballot is received by 7 p.m. on election day, not um, not postmarked. So if you're going to mail your ballot back, do it by August 2nd. If not, take it to a place of deposit or a voter service center. Okay, good to know. And when you brought up that signature, mm -hmm. I feel like that's probably a common thing. What are some other things that I guess are kind of the frequently missed things or things that you want to warn people about? Uh, like I said, if you're going to make a mistake, Whiteout will not um, fix it. It's going to read as an error. So if you do make a mistake, don't cross it out. Don't initial. Um, these are read by machines. So please call for a replacement ballot. Uh, and like I said, one of the big issues, if, if you don't sign your ballot, you will be notified and you'll have five days to check it, but okay. yeah. why um, take that extra step? Just make sure you sign your ballot. And why make you guys do that extra work too? So make sure your ballots are signed. Um, and then for people that are, you know, maybe got their ballot and they're like, oh, I didn't really keep up with, you know, the politics or the news this year, what would you recommend to them? Why should people be voting? You know, vote, um, Voting is important for a healthy democracy. Without participation, we don't have um, a healthy democracy. It's the cornerstone of democracy. Uh, without participation, we don't have a healthy democracy, so people should vote. Definitely. Make sure your voices are heard and do research. Google all of the folks that you're potentially going to be voting for. Make sure that their values align with yours and make sure, again, you're getting your voice heard and being represented. All right. Thanks so much, Scott, for joining us. And don't forget to sign your ballot and send it in. Again, the date is... November 8th. November 8th. Uh, 7 p.m.? 7 p.m., yes. By 7 p.m. Before. But but you don't want to wait till last minute. Do it a couple days before, right? All right. Thanks so much, Scott. Appreciate you. Thank you.